Hey Leo, this reads for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get started with my oracle cards here. And then we will we'll move on to tarot to clarify. So, universe, what messages do you have for Leo today? What guidance? What advice? He maybe got some warnings, some affirmations. There we go. So we got accelerated motion. Material harvest. Memories of love. The heart chakra, um, which usually represents relationships and healing. And transformation. So I think somewhere in this read, we're definitely going to be talking about a relationship um, between the memories of love and, and the heart chakra card. I'm not entirely sure how it fits in. If it's a relationship um, that's come to an end, if it's a relationship that you're building on, I'm going to have to wait and see what, what the cards have to say to us here. So I have firm foundations, conflict and defeat, mental conflict, rest and rejuvenate, and the solar plexus chakra, uh, which represents your self-esteem and your inner power. So I'm feeling like I'm feeling like the cards are talking about a past relationship, a, a recently ended relationship, um, and you're still very much feeling feeling the hurt and the heartbreak from it. But I have that transformation card, so I think for you this is going to be a turning point. And I think it's going to be a positive one at the end of all of this. Um, I think the solar plexus chakra definitely ties into that. Uh, you rebuilding self-esteem. I think that goes along with the rest and rejuvenate. And, um, and taking time for yourself. So I have the magician card. And he usually represents having all the tools that you need um, to be successful. To me, in this, I feel like this healing process um, that you're going through, processing all these these hurts, these different emotions, this is what's going to give you all the tools that you need uh, to be successful in the future. I have uh, the star card, which tends to represent hope. So I think you, you're going to come out of this not, I don't even want to say just fine because I think you're going to come out of this um, even better than on the other side. I think you're going to have a lot more self-confidence and you'll be a lot more assured in yourself. And I think you'll probably even love yourself even, even more. I do have the devil card here and the devil card tends to represent a person with uh, manipulative and destructive energy. So I'm feeling like this was the person... This was the person from this past relationship. I also have the Two of Pentacles. and To me, the Two of Pentacles can sometimes speak of, um, of juggling. I'm thinking he speaks of a balance. I think things were unbalanced in your relationship. There wasn't an even, even give and take. Somebody's, somebody's needs mattered more than the other person. And I feel like it was your needs that didn't matter as much as this other person's did. Uh, I have the Ace of Swords, which represents triumph. The Nine of Pentacles, uh, which stands for abundance. I have the Eight of Pentacles, uh, which sometimes he's called the Apprentice card. I think in this he's representing life lessons. Learning learning life lessons. I think the the Ace of Swords speaks of your triumph of learning these lessons and the Nine of Pentacles of of the abundance. I don't think it's financial abundance. I think it's it's personal and emotional abundance that you're going to have when you come out the other side of this. 
The hanging man to me is a warning not to let yourself get um, stuck and hung up in um, in the hurt. It's encouragement to move forward, to process your emotions, and then let them go. Pull the hermit card, and the hermit card represents introspection. And I think that's what's going to come from all of this as well. I think he ties in quite well with the rest and rejuvenate, and and taking time, taking time to reflect on what happened and all the hurts and all of it and healing being able to process it and heal and move forward i have um the nine of swords which to me the nine of swords also rep represents getting stuck getting stuck in the negative stuff um because i think that's kind of where you're at at this point i think you're still processing the emotions i don't think you've come through the other side of it yet The Knight of Pentacles to me uh, represents your journey through this and that you will come out on the other side uh, and it you'll come out better than you were before. The Ten of Pentacles to me speaks of the abundance and again I feel like it's the emotional and personal abundance that you'll be getting from this. So I did receive, I wasn't sure where it fit in quite, I have the Two of Cups here, and the Two of Cups tends to speak of of a deep emotional bond, a, a relationship, possibly a newer relationship. I also received the Lover's Cards, Lover's Card as well. Um, I got them next to the Four of Swords though, and to me when I look at these cards together, what I see is the universe saying, don't be so quick to jump into another relationship until you've healed the wounds from this old one. That's what these cards say to me. I have the higher font, which represents a higher learning, I think, in this. Learning life lessons, um, learning about yourself. The Emperor, to me, uh, represents sort of logic over emotion. So being able to master your emotions and think about a situation logically. And to me, he ties in uh, with not getting trapped or stuck uh, in your emotions in this negative time and in, in the hurt. And being able to see your way through to the other side. And I also have the temperance card, which which speaks of that, um, uh, the balance between logic and emotion as well. So that sort of just reiterates that for me. Um, I do have the tower, which speaks of things coming to a disappointing ending. And I think that speaks of this relationship that you were in. Um, you know what? I also think it's a warning. The more that I look at it, the more I see... Um, The more I see it as a warning, I did get it next to the Ten of Cups, which represents uh, abundance in the home life. And I think, I think what these cards are telling me that if you aren't able to let go, process all of this and then let go of it and be able to, to sort of um, find your way out of the dark emotions. that your next relationship isn't going to have much of a chance. You're going to have trouble finding that happiness in the home life because you're just going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck in the past. I have the Ten of Wands, uh, which speaks of feeling, feeling overburdened. I think that's where you're at right now, too, with all these negative emotions. They're really weighing heavy on you. Uh, having trouble seeing your way through, having trouble finding healing. 
The seven of wands in this, when I look at him, I see the words, take your life back. And I think that's what you'll be doing by being able to, to process the hurt and then move past it. You'll be taking control back of your life and being able to dictate what direction it goes in and, and not, not letting yourself um, get stuck in things of the past. I have the Queen of Cups next to that and the Queen of Cups for me, um, she feels like this shining beacon for emotional fulfillment. That's what I'm getting from her. Being able to, to move on, you're going to find a lot more emotional fulfillment, peace of mind, sort of peace within yourself, and being able to love yourself and be happy in your own skin. Whether there's somebody else there or not, I think just in general, you're going to be happier. I also got the universe card here. Um... To me, when I see her, she tends to represent a universal life lesson, something that you need to learn to be successful in the rest of your life, and I think that's what this is. Being able to let go of this, being able to heal, being able to, to love yourself again. Because I think you're going to gain a new strength and confidence um, when you come out the other side of this. You're going to be a lot more assured of yourself. And I think that's going to shine through in your next relationship and it's going to help to set a solid foundation um, for victory in it. Just being able to, to love yourself. I have the Passion Ignites card, but to me I just see, in that I just see the words loving yourself. Because I think you're going to learn to love yourself again. I have Deception and Envy and I just feel like it goes towards... I feel like it goes towards this person of the past and just really letting go and cutting ties and, and closing the door on that, that chapter of your life. And then I have victory and success as well. And I think that also ties into um, to how you're going to come out on the other side of this. Because like I said, I think you're going to be, I think you're going to be all the better for it having gone through the process as much as it sucks as much as it hurts I believe that everything happens for a reason and I believe that this is going to put you in a place mentally and emotionally that you need to be at to be able to be successful for the rest of your life so do have faith because it will get better and this is this is going to be you're going to be all the better for for what happens here Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed the read. Uh, if it resonated with you, please let me know. I like hearing from you guys. Take care.